In this video, we're going to continue on creating this compliance and monitoring dashboard by finishing off the last section here, which includes a trend line here to show you what the trend of your athletes is, as well as the color coordinating so that you can set your own limits and automatically color the values based on the limits that you set. This is going to be really powerful if you're looking at any sort of monitoring information for your athletes and want a quick and easy way to disseminate what is happening. So let's get after it. Okay, so we're back, and if you remember in the last video, we got as far as um, bringing down our athlete names into this readiness report, as well as being able to import all of their values based on um, the values that we have in our data panel. Panel. So the way that we did this was we wrote some formulas in there that basically looked to see what the date and what that athlete's name is, and then we have this data where we're actually pulling that out of. Now, in the last video, we created this stoplight system for stop, caution, and go. And in this video, we're going to basically be able to put in our own numbers for those three conditions. Um, but to start off, what I think we'll do is we'll work through creating that trend line, which basically allows us just to visualize at a glance what the trend for that athlete is. So the way we're going to do this is using a formula called sparkline. So I'm going to hit equal sparkline and open this up. And the data that I want is going to be this data here. So basically all of the data that we're already pulling in. And then I'll hit a comma. Now with Sparkline, it's going to ask you for a few options. Um, we're going to put the options in curly brackets. Um, and some of the ones that we're going to do is we have to go quotation color. So C-O-L-O-R and then quotation. Now anything with a comma is going to pair with that um, condition. So for instance, I want red. So I'm going to pick quotation, write in red, quotation, and then a semicolon. And that's going to tell the sparkline formula that we're now doing a new condition. And really the only other one that I want is Y max. And what Y max does is allows me to set the maximum value for the vertical axis. And that's just going to make sure that all of our spark lines are scaled the same way so that when we're looking at one versus another, we can tell what the heck is happening. So Y max and then comma um, 40 is our maximum value because we have um, four different monitoring metrics that we're measuring on a scale of 10. So if someone was to put 10 for each one, um, that would give us a value of 40. So from there, um, what we're going to do is just close off those curly brackets and then close off our sparkline formula and I'll hit enter and I've done something wrong. Give me one sec to figure out where that is. Okay, so the issue was just in the way that I entered my range, I didn't select one specific row. I accidentally had two rows. So what I'm gonna do is just reselect my range. So basically we're going from S21 or sorry, S31 all the way to I31. When I hit enter, we should get our sparkline now the problem here is that when I drag this down, eventually we're going to get these error values. So the way that we're going to clean that up is if I just take this sparkline formula and wrap it in a formula called if error. So I'll type that at the beginning and then comma at the end value if there's an error. Let's do double quotations for leave the cell blank and I'll hit enter. And now I should be able to basically drag this sparkline formula all the way down. So there's all of our spark lines. I'm just going to fix the formatting here to make it look better. So we want um, a thick outside border. I'm gonna make it really thick to match everything else. And then the inside borders, we're gonna make white with a little border. So that looks pretty good to me. Now we have these spark lines basically that we can use to view our data. Now the next part is we're going to wanna set some upper, lower, and uh, bounds for this. So we're remembering that our data is basically on a scale out of 40. Let's say that anything about 30 and up is good to go. Um, anything around 20 might be a caution and then sort of anything um, below, I don't know, let's say um, 19 or let's say 25 and then 20. Anything below 20 would be kind of a stop or reevaluate. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to create some formatting to basically mimic this. So the first one that we want to do is I'm going to highlight all of these cells and I'm going to go to format, 
um, conditional formatting. And I'm gonna take the whole thing here. And the first thing that we want is if cell is empty, then we just wanna format it as green, or uh, sorry, as white, okay? And the reason for that is that when we have some of the other formattings, we don't wanna write over top of them. So I'll hit done. So that's the first one we need. From there, um, what I'm gonna do is create another format. So I'll highlight the whole thing one more time. Go to format, conditional formatting. Now, interesting to note, the order that these are in on the right-hand side is the order that it's going to look through them and do the formats for. So this one we want um, apply to range, same range. Now we want a custom formula. And the formula that we want is going to be equals L31, okay, or sorry, um, I31. So that's referring to this first cell here, but because we've left it wide open, it refers to any cell that this is currently on. So we want when I31 is basically greater than or equal to, and then um, D17, but we're gonna lock that in. So um, dollar sign, D, dollar sign, 17. Okay, and I'm going to hit done. And you can see that none of them actually lit up. But if I was to change this to say 28, now the ones that are above 28 are gonna light up. Okay, so let's actually change our ranges a little bit here. Let's say 28, and then caution will be 25. So let's do the other rules here. We'll select all of our cells again, add a rule, this time custom formula, and we're gonna put equals um, I31, and this time we want less than or equal to um, our stop value, which is B17, so dollar sign B, dollar sign 17. And we're going to hit, um, make it a nice red color. So we'll do kind of this red color here and I'll hit done. And then our last one, we'll hit add another rule. And this time we want custom formula is equal to I31. And this time we'll do greater than or equal to um, kind of our red. Okay, so we want it to basically be above the red or below the green. And we'll say dollar sign B, dollar sign 17. And we'll make that a yellow color. So there's our yellow and we'll hit um, done. So there you go, that is all of our conditional formatting. Now we can change some of these and I could change that to maybe 15 as our value and then maybe 25 here and then maybe 20 and then our thing would look like that. This is a really easy way to just add some custom um, conditional formatting to your sheet is just have it reference another cell somewhere on your sheet. And as you can see, if I were to change the dates anywhere, um, all of our values um, would change. I can organize them the opposite way as we did before. Um, we can change it all the way through. And basically you can see um, we get all of our sort of data. Okay, so I hope this video helps you out um, and I hope you've been able to follow along and create this simple monitoring dashboard. What I can do now is close this off. If I wanted to give this to a coach, I could hit print. And basically what we could do is fit this. So um, maybe we'll just say um, fit to width and we'll go custom margins. We'll say 0 0.05 on the top. 0 0.05 on the side, 0 0.05 on one side, and then 0 0.05 on the other. And then now we have this one page report that looks really good and we can basically send to our coaches and they'll think um, we're doing a good job, okay? So if this video helped you out, please like and subscribe to the channel. And if you could share this with somebody else who you think would find it useful, that really helps me out and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.